This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey! What's up, guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, but in a slightly different style. I normally like to do these IRL with physical cards, that way I can move things around on a game board and be a little bit more in-depth in terms of what I'm discussing and specific points and stuff like that. But for this one, I'm going to be showing you a Gym Knight FTK revolver around just having two cards one card specifically that being brilliant fusion and so we kind of need to be able to see exactly what's going on with what going where what zones are being unlocked and Yu-Gi-Oh Pro just makes that a lot easier so this might be something that I do going into more combo tutorials later down the line because if it's easy enough to do and set up and just perform and if it makes things easier to follow and understand then I might as well do that as a learning tool for you guys because these are meant to be as good of a learning tool as I can physically make with my own ability to teach and explain. So, basically, what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be showing you a Gym Knight FTK that burns for 9,000 damage if you're playing Summon Sorceress. If you're playing Decode Talker instead of Summon Sorceress, it does 8,500, but if you're playing Summon Sorceress with the Phantom Core and all that sort of stuff, then you have the capability of burning for 9,000, which means you can kill through an upstart, which is a fantastic thing. And it is a two-card combo. It requires Brilliant Fusion plus any Gym Monster. Now, I may go through a different iteration of the combo showing you what you do with gym armadillo or at least the starting stage of it because it is very easy for you to just misclick very quickly and easily assuming you can do certain things and then you end up just ruining the combo so gym armadillo does work but you have to do a slightly different step that is very important that you do or else it is going to be something that you cannot recover from if you were trying to do your ftk uh, but so basically you need Brilliant Fusion in order to send Block Dragon to Grave, and then you need any gym monster that can be normal summoned or summoned out of deck off unexpected die, something like that. It just has to be a gym knight monster or a gym monster, like gym armadillo. Uh, and basically it lets you FTK with Lady Lapis Lazuli and Master Diamonds. You put six monsters on your own board to burn for 3,000 each time, and you do that because of how actually amazing Block Dragon is. I thought the card was a gimmick, turns out it's not. But let's just jump straight into this so I don't waste any much uh, so I don't waste any more time gassing basically, but you're going to activate Brilliant Fusion, and you're going to target Zirconia. You only need to play one Zirconia, uh, but you use it twice in the same combo because you're going to shuffle it back. And it doesn't matter what Gym Knight you send to the graveyard for this. You just need to send Block Dragon as your rock monster for the Zirconia, and then just any Gym Knight. It does not matter what it is because it's going to be going back into your deck anyway. So you summon the Zirconia, then you're going to normal summon whatever Gym monster you had, or in the case of Unexpected Die, you would have played that first. And then you're going to link away into your Phantom Core with the Zirconia and whatever Gym Monster you had. And the Phantom Core's effect is going to activate, and you're going to use that to add Gym Knight Fusion to your hand. You know, the, the main combo piece of your entire deck. Can't imagine why we'd be adding that card. But so now from here we're going to set up a Phantom Core Fusion. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that economically with this Block Dragon. Because Block Dragon is a Dragon Ruler. It banishes three Earths from your hand or graveyard to summon itself. And that summon doesn't start a chain either, so it's it's fantastic. It has a wonderful uh, protection effect for your monsters on field, but then when it hits the graveyard once per turn, you get to add up to three rock monsters from your deck to your hand, whose levels equal eight, and that is what we're going to be utilizing. But so since we banished those three Gym Knight monsters, we're going to use Phantom Core's effect, paying a thousand, we're going to summon Lady Brilliant Diamond. You have to summon Lady Brilliant Diamond here, or else the combo does not work for the Crystal Rose, and you have just you've ruined it for your entire existence. Uh, but so from here, you summon Lady Brilliant Diamond, and then you immediately use her effect to tribute herself to summon Master Diamond out of your extra deck, because you want to put that fusion in grave for the Crystal Rose to summon itself, but also we want to be summoning six monsters. That's going to be pretty difficult to do if we're only working with the zones that this Phantom Core opens up. So what we're going to be doing is that now you'd link into either your Deco Talker or your Summon Sorceress with the Block Dragon and the Phantom Core, since we've used all the prominent effects of that Phantom Core, and you summon that Link 3 over here to unlock these two zones while your Gym Knight Master Diamond is still just chilling over here. Then you're going to use Block Dragon's effect to be able to add cards from your deck to your hand. And so you're going to add Crystal Rose, you're going to add Gym Knight Obsidian, and if you already had Lapis in your hand, you don't need to add another copy of Lapis. You can add a second copy of Obsidian just to extend your play structuring. But if you do not have one in hand, in this case, as I'm showing with just this self-contained combo, you add a Lapis to your hand. So you add Crystal Rose, Lapis, and Obsidian. And it just that's just a straight-up plus three off that Block Dragon. Like that's That's actually just wild. But so, from here, to continue on, we have fresh new zones opened up by the Summon Sorceress. So you activate the Gym Knight Fusion, and you go into that Zirconia again. The same Zirconia you summoned the first time, 
uh, you're going to just go ahead and go into it this time. And you're going to use Lapis and the Crystal Rose, and you're going to summon Zirconia right here. And so from here, because you had that, uh, because you had that Lady Brilliant Diamond in your grave, you can now use the Crystal Rose, and you can mill uh, a Lazuli from your deck to get that Lapis back. So what we're going to do is we're going to do just that. We're going to mill Lazuli from our deck off Crystal Rose to make it copy, and then the Lazuli's effect is going to trigger adding that Lapis back to hand. Now we have the Lazuli that's in our graveyard, which can be banished to recur the Gym Knight Fusion. We also have the Gym Knight Phantom Core in our grave that, we can, that can be recurred as well. Uh, so from here, we're pretty set as far as what we need to do for getting all six of our Monster Zones filled. And so you're going to make just a Lady Lapis Lazuli here with Obsidian and Lapis in this other zone that uh, Summon Sorcerers opens for you. And then this Obsidian is going to trigger summoning Lapis back. So now we have six monsters on field, and every single one of them was a special summon monster. That's actually super, super duper important. And so you don't have any more vanillas in your graveyard, so what you're going to do is you're going to use Lady Lapis Lazuli's effect. It doesn't matter what you mill. You can mill a vanilla. You burn for 3k. At this point, we have all the resources we need to make things operate smoothly. So what you're going to do is you're going to use Gym Knight Fusion, and you're going to banish the Obsidian from your grave to add Gym Knight Fusion to hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to activate the Gym Knight Fusion, and we're going to get our second Master Diamond on the field by getting rid of the Lady Lapis Lazuli so the first one can copy it. So you're going to get rid of Lady Lapis Lazuli, you're going to get rid of the Zirconia because you want to keep one zone open, and then you're going to get rid of either Crystal Rose or Lapis. It doesn't matter which. I prefer to get rid of the Crystal Rose, personally. Uh, and then you summon this Master Diamond over here. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to activate this Master Diamond's effect to copy this effect, but you're not going to use the burn effect yet, because we need to put more monsters back onto the field. So we're going to do that with the Summon Sorceress. The Summon Sorceress is going to target this Master Diamond, and it's going to summon literally any rock monster from our deck. Uh, so we'll summon the Gym Armadillo uh, into this zone. I have selected a zone. Why is it not letting me do it now? Amazing. Amazing times for an amazing program. See, this is why I don't like to use Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro for this shit. There we go. All right. Lag spike over. All right, so now you have five special summon monsters on your field. Summon Sorceress has put that back onto your board for you. And now you have live Block Dragon in your graveyard again. So you're going to special summon Block Dragon. You're going to get rid of the three convenient monsters that are in your graveyard for the Block Dragon. And you're going to special summon it back. Now you're at six monsters again. So this Master Diamond has Lazuli's effect on it. So you're going to activate that, and you're going to send the Lady Lapis Lazuli from your Extract of the Grave, burn for 3k again. And then you have this Master Diamond, which can copy the Graveyard Lazuli's effect. And then you activate Master Diamond, and you send literally any card from your deck to the Grave to burn for another 3k. It's a fantastic combo. Overall, this is pretty wild. This is actually kind of insane, the fact that just a two-card combo involving just Brilliant Fusion is actually this powerful. And what this means, like, the thing is Block Dragon enables this, so you don't even really need Brilliant Fusion. You just need a way to make Phantom Core and then get Block Dragon into the graveyard. So you can do this with Foolish Burial for Block Dragon. You can hard draw Block Dragon and fuse with it if you had a, a way to make Phantom Core. If you're playing the Grinder Golem shenanigans and you already have access to Gym Knight Fusion, you can use the Kairos that you summoned in the Grinder Golem play to send Block Dragon to your graveyard as well, and that just makes it live. Like, it's actually just super economical what Block Dragon does for this deck, which is something that I find very interesting considering that I just, I dismissed it as a gimmick because I thought, okay, cool, you get to search these cards, but at the same, at the end of the day, you were searching these cards that allowed you to make a fusion summon that you could only fuse into one monster into a zone at a time because we didn't have that much, you know, good support as far as links go. But now we have Phantom Core. So now it gets super, super economical for the deck to be able to utilize Block Dragon because you just banish to summon Block Dragon and then you use Phantom Core to put your stuff back. So, I mentioned that there's a little thing with Jim Armadillo you have to respect. I'm going to rewind this real quick and just show you at least the beginning stage of that combo. I might play through the combo again really fast just so you can see it again. Uh, but just to show you what's up with Jim Armadillo so you don't make the same mistake that I made when I started playtesting this combo. Alright, so what if you have Jim Armadillo plus Brilliant Fusion and no other Jim Monster in your hand? You need to be very careful with what you do specifically with the Block Dragon when you're doing this sort of stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon the Gym Armadillo and you're going to use its effect to add any Gym Knight monster to your hand. It doesn't matter what it is, it's going to be going away. And then you're going to activate the Brilliant Fusion doing the exact same thing as before, going for Zirconia, getting rid of, again, any Gym Knight monster. It doesn't matter what it is, it's going to be put back into your deck. And the Block Dragon. 
So you're going to summon the Zirconia, and so you're going to link away with these two into your Phantom Core, because it is a gym armadillo, it is a gym monster, so it's capable of being used. And you're going to add the Gym Knight Fusion again. Now what you do here, specifically, you have to be very careful about this, is that you activate Block Dragon, but you don't banish the Gym Armadillo from Grave. Do not make that mistake. You banish the Gym Knight monster that you added to your hand, because Gym Armadillo is not a Gym Knight. Meaning, you cannot make Lady Brilliant Diamond off of Phantom Core's effect, just trying to return uh, these three to your uh, deck, because it's not a Gym Knight monster, you don't have three Gym Knights. So you have to banish these, and leave the Armadillo in your graveyard. Which is fine, it functions as fuel for your second block dragon summon, but that's something you have to be very careful about, is that I messed that up so many times when I was trying to figure out how this worked. And it was just something that I couldn't process in my head, what I was doing wrong. But anyway, that is this FTK. It's a very robust FTK in terms of it takes very few cards to do. It's a two card FTK, and it's further supported by the rest of your deck. You've run literally no brick cards, because your entire deck is capable of being fused with. You can do this on Grinder Golem. Uh, getting access into Block Dragon that way, like, Block Dragon just enables a lot for this deck, so that's basically all I wanted to cover for this video, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as per always, but other than that, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, it helps out a ton, it, I mean, I wouldn't make these videos if people didn't watch them, um, and if you want to show your support, then there's definitely ways you can do so with liking, commenting, subscribing, doing all that sort of stuff, but otherwise, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as I've already said, links as always are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page, as well as my personal Patreon page, if you want to support the channel directly, if you like the content I've been doing, and want to help the ability to keep, keep making that content, Patreon is the best way to do so, and even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you'd like to do, but other than that, as always, as I've already said, like, comment, subscribe, thanks for your time as usual, guys and take care. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.